Today I felt like giving an old friend a bit of a spanking. Uh, that old friend is called a Darky de Medir. Darky de Medir is a bit of a bitch to fight, but once you figure him out, he still is a bitch to fight, but you can eventually beat him. Now, the issue I have with Darky de Medir is uh, Medir are varied, mostly he does. He's very fast, very relentless, does a lot of damage, is a big target, but you should only hit his head, which is the only thing that you really can do damage against. Now we try to get recruited as a, um, uh, well, as a, as a phantom to someone else's world to see if I can help them defeat Madeir. Like this first I will have a handica handicap, and it is my real only way to uh, record myself fighting Madeir, because I soloed Madeir and I didn't record it and it felt awesome, but, you know, I was rarely frustrated and it would have been, wouldn't have been interesting footage. I might do it another time. Now, to fight Dark Eater Medir, you, at least what I have found, that I have, uh, with, with, with what I have succeeded, is the following. You need a weapon that is capable of doing a lot of damage very quickly. One of them is if you have a very strong, uh, powerful weapon like this one, a heavy twihander. And you require uh, this shield right here, actually, the Dragon Crest Shield. Uh, Dark Medir has a lot of attacks. One of his very various attacks is a fire spewing attack, being a dragon, what do you know? And uh, it covers a lot, uh, a big area. Now, I suppose you could learn how to dodge it with a, with a, with a dodge roll. The problem is the thing covers such a big area, and I don't trust fire spewed by dragons in Dark Souls. Because if you've played a few Dark Souls games, you know that after that, that f dragons spew fire on the ground, and sometimes you can dodge it by using your invincibility frames to go through, but sometimes the fire just lingers, and once you're out of your roll, it hits you again. So I just said, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna block it, because I know that if you block the damage, the fire, or, or you can keep blocking the damage with a shield like this. And uh, it really just reduces the whole thing to a trifle. Sorry for my sniffling. And the rest is just what you want. I recommend this. Or the very same, uh, the very reason that uh, Dark Intermediate does not give you a lot of chances to attack it. But you'll see that if I manage to get summoned today. So, I am. Um, yeah, I have this pretty maxed. There's no. Getting one extra charge of Estus will not make any sense, because if I get summoned, my Estus gets halved anyway. So, I think it's uh, time to see if I get summoned. And uh, when I... Uh, I'll cut it here, obviously, unless I get summoned immediately. And then we'll see if I can uh, show you how... Uh, show you a few things that Medir does, so that you don't have to suffer through it, and you can solo him yourself. So the person I summoned that summoned me here wasn't interested in fighting Darky de Medir, so I decided to cut it here. Also, if I ever say in the video that the tail swipe is a one-hit kill, it's not really a one-hit kill, but it's a one-hit kill for someone like me. So, cutting back to the past. Alright, summoned again. Hello. I'm a certified Medir killer, sir. No, lady. Miss. I know exactly what I'm doing. For some reason he has the... Yeah, let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh yeah, this is my favorite. It's curious that the other Lord of Embers actually... The other guy that summoned me had to traverse the fog wall. But she doesn't have to. Which is normal, actually. Normally you don't have to... I don't know. Alright, here we go again. My host runs in for some odd reason, because he's gonna do this range attack and there's no way in hell you're hitting him with anything while he's doing this. So just waiting for him to calm down and just see if you can get a hit in. If not, it's not a big deal. There's a claw attack. Then it does the fire that hits below. Stay away and attack. Oh, I missed! That's, a, that's the tail attack. That'll, that'll one-shot you. That's the grab, he's trying to eat my post here. Unacceptable. Damn it, Medir. There you go. Oh, I'm gonna get away from that, just in case. My host doesn't know what he's doing here. Or she's doing. Oh! 
There would be hostess, I suppose? I don't know. That's a host of embers. Anyway, you have to hit the head. Don't even bother with the legs, because the legs just don't do enough damage. Ah! Oh, here comes this attack. This is why we have the shield. Boop. I just don't bother. I mean, you can run to the side, but I just don't care for that attack at all. It's like my one weakness, where I basically decided, fuck it, I'm just gonna shield it. Uh-oh. Here comes this again. Oh no, the rage. Oh, I'm just gonna buff my weapon. I'm gonna buff myself, because, you know, fuck it. And slash. Get a hit in, and then immediately get ready to dodge again. That's what you have to do with Madir. He is trying to eat me. Yep. He fails miserably, because he sucks. Oh. Here, I've put up my shield, just in case. Alright, next up. Here we go. Oh, oh, hello. Whoa! And then he does that. That That is a swipe that he, he, he... If you see it coming, he does like a final clumsy swipe where he falls on his, on his face. That's a good opportunity to hit him there. Very, very good opportunity. It was also very good. Opportunity to hit him there. That fire attack that he does after that. Then he spews fire below him, which is really just to take care of my my host here. That doesn't really seem to understand that you have to hit the head. You have to hit the head, lady. Just the head. Ah! Oh god. I was... Uh. And that would have been a great moment to attack him, but I'm not taking the risk here. I prefer to... What the heck? Okay, so he's spewing fire below him again. Get rid of the anyone who would be trying to hit the legs. As you can see, he's not taking a lot of damage from the legs, but we got him to stage two. We got the explosion again. He always does that at the beginning when stage two. The wear of the tail stripe. It's a one-hit kill, pretty much, as I've already stated. Oh, 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 oh! How's he doing now? He's trying to hit my host. Ooh! There's the clumsy swing. Get a good and hit in. Good, good, good. And here comes this again. Just let him live out his temper tantrum. Just buff up, not a problem. There you go. That tail actually, as far as I know, doesn't hit you, but I'm just not risking it. Oh god! That does, though. That definitely hits you. Ooh. Oh. And then he swings back. Yep, here we go. Uh, I'm not reaching him. We're doing a good run here. Not paying attention. That was a good moment to hit him. You do. Let's see if I can do something with the bolt pine bundle here. Which I have for the ex express purpose, but it's always very stressful to fight my deer. Ooh. Dang it! I'm not hitting him there. Oh, he's following this up. I can hit him here. There you go. And twice even. Boom. He's not. He's not doing his dark attacks right now. He'll probably do it soon, I'm sure. But if not, you know, I'm welcome. There it is! He's all like, aha! Look at me, I've got dark powers. And then you have to dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh god, the pain. I might die here. Just run away. And that... Don't even... Oh. Don't even bother trying to run away from him, because he will cover the entire arena. Just wait for an opening and just dodge under him. The one time you want to dodge under him is that. There you go. Next up, what is he going to do now? I don't risk taking an attack there, because I don't know what he's going to do next, and I might need to react immediately. He can go more aggressive on this, I'm sure, but I just don't want to risk it, because he does so much damage. He does so much damage to me. Oh, most took damage there. Yeah, damn it! Now he's trying to eat my host. He doesn't succeed, thankfully. Oh! No, 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 no! Oh god! Oh god, the host took so much damage from that tail swipe. Oh, here comes this! Uh, oh! Come on, come on! Come on, Akaring! We're almost there! Oh, dang it! He hit his claw. This is not good, I have to be in front of him. And he does his temper tantrum. For some reason, that fire didn't hit me. Well, he's gonna dodge for safety. I don't know where he is or what he's doing. Another good hit in. I was trying to swipe, tail swipe my the host here. Ah, we're almost there. 
Come on. Get wrecked. Yeah. Efficient service. Woo. Yeah. You go, girl. You did it. Our Gator Madeira is dead. Goodbye. You're with your fucking desert pyromancer outfit. Well done. Whew. And there's Dr. Unimadir. Really just a, um, learn the patterns and, uh, you know, try to make as few mistakes as possible. Because he will punish every single one of them. But there you go. And I suppose... Uh, nah, I'm done for today. It always feels good to kill Medir because he has given me so much grief. So there we go. Um, uh, well, I suppose I hope this helped someone. And if not, you can see it. Uh, you know, fight with, uh, with a dragon that spews dark lasers. I don't know how many failures I'm going to leave in, uh, in the final video, but I had, like, two? Two failures? I think two, yeah. Alright, so that was a little video. I'll see you in the next one. So I basically put my summon sign in front of mid -ear. So that this time I will definitely be fighting him. Always dodge when it comes for you, even though I was sure... I was sure that I would be able to dodge it, but I'm not taking the risk. Here comes the rampage. Ah, I dodged the blade there. This could be bad. And here comes another laser! Great! Laser beams! I'm not sure if I'm... I'm ugh. That will one-shot you. Don't even try. I mean... Alright. Oh! Oh! Man! Leave it in. But I might cut this out. And that's another laser right there. Be careful. Always dodge. Just in case. You can go towards him, because if you if you manage to get towards him in time, you will be able to avoid the laser, because he won't shoot, you know, at his legs. Oh, here we go. Stage 2. Now he has this attack. Now basically it charges up and hits everyone in the big area. One. Iris knows what she's doing, man. She's 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 a she's a warrior, dedicated warrior of sunlight. Oh fuck us! That is the super laser attack. I am so dead. I'm so dead. You have to get below his legs when he does that, and if you don't make it in time, yep. Look, the host of embers is getting completely boned. Look at all these lasers. Oh man.